What's going on guys? It's your boy Turbo Reacts here and I am back with another video, another reaction to Peaky Blinders. Season 2 episode 5 is here today and I am ready to jump in. My girl Grace is back. So, uh, as we see from the last episode that um, a lot of things going on. Um, Arthur needs to get his act together but... Uh, as I said, the most intriguing fact of it all is that Grace is back and also the growth of Michael seeing the type of person that he is um, as Polly's son, him being such a Shelby, you know what I mean? Like is, is he's so Shelby like he just um, fits right in, you know, you can see that he is. He's not much different from the rest of them. Um, I have I hit my head <laughs> ducking under something um, earlier today, and I have this gash on my forehead, man. It's, uh, I, I'm not putting not putting a band aid on it. D not okay. We gangster. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so. Yeah, so that's basically what's going on. As I said, I, I, I'm not going to expound too much in my intros that much anymore. Unless there is something on my mind that I want to talk to talk to you guys about. If you want to see an in-depth review of the last episode, go back and check out the last reaction that I did. The review on that episode. And <clears throat> if you want to, um, I'm also going to start linking it. Um, so that you guys, just in case you, you know, you're expecting a review before the episode, you can always go back and watch and watch it there. Cause it's more in depth. I have, I take my time and I get into the episode and tell you what my thoughts are. And I usually just go over the, the, the points of the last episode during the intros before I do the reactions. Okay. So let's jump into this reaction, man. I'm just excited to see Grace cause Grace is my girl. Um, she, she the one and only, she is the babe right now. She's babe right now. So let's jump into this reaction, man, and see what they're doing. So go ahead, click that link in the description, wherever you're watching this, whether it's on the Google drive or BitChute, make sure, make sure that you come back and leave a like. If you have not already, make sure you leave a like. Um, I'm noticing one of the things I've noticed about these videos, um, my Pika Blinder viewers, um, I need your interaction a little bit more, just a little bit more interaction on the videos. Like on the videos, I'm getting like two comments, a comment here, a comment there. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you guys are not enjoying it. Like, and the thing about it is that I know you are enjoying it. Whether you're watching the show over or you're watching it for the first time, I know that you are enjoying it. So just let me know what you think in the comment section. If it's even to come into the comment section and say great videos. Um, if you interact more with these videos, what happens is that you the YouTube algorithm will pick up on the interaction on the video and suggest it to people who are looking for similar content. Uh, and they will come along and then my reactions will get more views in turn and also because i'm doing something over here that um most you most youtubers are charging people for and i'm doing it for free which is do full reactions and i'm basically paying it for paying for it myself i know bit shoot is free but my google drive is not free okay <laughs> i'm paying for the space because pretty much almost every show i react to is going on the Google Drive at this point um, at the channel. So I need that interaction on YouTube because I do want to have that presence on YouTube so to help the channel to grow. Okay, so just leave a like. You know what I'm saying? The more likes and the more comments on a video, that's what the interaction, that's what the YouTube algorithm looks for. It looks for um, watch retention also, which is how much time that you spend watching the video. I don't mind if you guys skip the intro, but you can always come back and watch through the review. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. As always, let's jump into this reaction, man. I'm don't don't think that I'm going to stop reacting now because you guys might not do what I ask. I'm still going to react. I'm just asking you guys kindly 
to do this for me. Okay, that's all it is. All right, so let's jump into this reaction, man. Let's go. See you over there. Okay, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Terabyte Reacts here. We are back with the review. Peaky Blinders Season 2 Episode 5 was surely something. I mean, the way how they started out the episode, I really did not expect Solomons to betray the Peaky Blinders like that. Like that, I, I really didn't. I it, it caught me off guard because I was like, the way how it happened too, I thought they were just having a meal. They were going to discuss what happened with Sabini. You know what I'm saying? And... That shit went out the window. <laughs> you know? I mean, they shot dude in the head. And they framed Arthur for murder. Um, and then, on the other side of things, in, uh, Major Campbell picked up Michael for, for burning down um, the thing, the place with Arthur. I don't even know how, why you would confess to something like that. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would he confess to something he didn't do? He wasn't even there. He wasn't there when it happened. So why would he confess to that? It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but at the end of it all, when he got out and what his mom, what Polly had to do to get him out too. I mean, you guys saw me laugh in that scene. I wasn't laughing because it was a serious moment. It's just the way how he was acting in that moment that made me laugh because it was like nobody does that <laughs> you know what i'm saying you, you getting a, a um a handy job <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you getting a handy job um down there you are not reacting like that like the way how he was acting was a bit over the top you know what i'm saying so that's why i chuckled because i was like nobody acts like that like that was a bit over the top acting there that's why i laughed but it was a very serious moment there um you know what she had to do to get her son out um he heard about it you know and i didn't like what he said but i, I don't know at this point and at this time i don't think he wanted polly to do what she did but at the same time, that was no way to respond to her. You know what I'm saying? To make her feel even more shitty, more more shittier, if that's a word, <laughs> right? To make her feel so much even worse. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't like that. So, but that's why I was saying maybe he meant it in an ironic way. Like, he's going to come back with a vengeance. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, that's what happens because... um. If it goes any other way, where he's not going to, like, declare war against the cops for, or Major Campbell for doing that, or him going after Major Campbell for doing that, you know what I'm saying? When he doesn't even really know the whole story, you know what I'm saying? If he doesn't do that, then he's he's definitely um, going to be a bitch for that, period, point blank. So... The situation with Tommy and Grace, man, you guys already know how I feel about that relationship. It's one of the best things that happened in season one. And, you know, I, you know, somebody was telling me in the comment section that people don't like Grace. And I'm like, why? Because she was a spy. Come on, man. She was a spy. She, which I predicted from like episode two of season one. When I saw her, I was like, this girl's going to get in. She's going to fall in love with Tommy. Through just their chemistry on screen, I could tell you that off bat. From how they interact with each other, I just knew that she was going to come over to the, to, to the bad side. And don't want Tommy to get hurt and stuff like that. Which is, you know, not exactly what happened. But um, their chemistry on screen is just, there's no question about it. And I understand some people have reserves about it. It's going to be like, if it was real life... You know what I'm saying? Um, or if it was, if Tommy was a true gangster, whatever the situation is, he would kill her for finding out that she's spying on him. But you got to understand also that she saved his life a couple of times, right? 
Um, so, and you also got to understand that Tommy, he's not at peace when she's not around. So, because of that also why I and why I love their relationship so much because as I've said in, in, in previous reviews and stuff is Grace is his moral center. She can guide him to say, okay, bro, maybe you, sh I mean, I, and the thing about it is this, right? He's trying to go legit in two to three years. Um, you know, as he said, with Michael's help, he can do it in, in, um, in two years to go about 80 to 90% legit. Now that is, that is commendable to me because most gangsters, they just want to stay in the life forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's commendable that he wants to get out. He wants to legitimize his shit. So I commend him for that. Um, it's a TV show. So we got to root for somebody. Right, we're gonna hate somebody, we're gonna love somebody. That's just how it is. They're villains and they're heroes, right? Um, um, as a character, Major Campbell needs to go. He's becoming a big nuisance at this point. Now he's found somebody higher up, higher than Winston Churchill, to use as his pony to get shit done and to do things to Tommy. And this. Everything he's doing is out of jealousy, man. Everything, everything that he's doing is out of jealousy. And that's the reason why I hate his character so much. Because, dude, you just need to get over the... I mean, I've never seen anybody take rejection this far. Like, this is going above and beyond, bro. Dude, it's been... Get over it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it still gets on his nerves so much because, and Tommy knows it gets under his skin because he got her and he didn't, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it kills him to know that somebody else and the, the person who he was trying to put in jail to, that he was trying to, to take down in season one is the one that ended up with the girl he wanted to end it up with. He kills him, man. But, um... Arthur is still in prison. Um, didn't see any more of what was going on with Solomon's and Sabina. I'm guessing that they're saying they're saving that whatever plan that Tommy is coming up with. He's saving it for the Derby, right? So we'll see what happens in the next episode. I might just react to this episode um, and give you guys two episodes um, between tomorrow and the next day we'll see how it goes but it's not a promise but i do want to wrap up the season before next week's and we can start season three next week okay so we'll see what happens from there but definitely definitely man this this episode was definitely on fire everything about it was very well done um the setups um i have to say the pacing the pacing of the episode was a bit off for me um first time i've ever like find fault I, th I think the pacing in the beginning of the episode was very rushed i think they could have taken a little bit more time to flesh out what was happening um because it just kind of hit me you know what i'm saying because the way out um episode four ended there was no kind of inclination of this happening other than the meeting that happened. And it wasn't clear if Sabini, um, if, if Solomon's and Sabini actually came to an agreement. It was just like the way how he was, how Solomon's was talking, it was more, it, it sounded so sarcastic. It was like, do you really believe, do you really think that this is really an agreement right now? We're going to kill all you dudes. You know what I'm saying? That's how it felt. So they totally threw me off when they actually went in that situation, um, in that direction, I should say, um, with him betraying the Peaky Blinders, which I, I just never saw it coming. So maybe in that retrospect, I can say, okay, they did. They, I think they could have still fleshed it out a little bit better when it comes to the pacing. I think they could have taken probably another five minutes out of the episode. Um, there, there was a lot of um, parts of this episode that they could have condensed a bit more 
to to give that a little bit more fleshing out. You get what I'm saying? Um so that's the only fault that I had with this episode where we're just on a technicality basis um, where I can say, OK, the pacing, I didn't enjoy that pacing in, the, in, in, in not because it surprised me. It was just it, I, it, it's not it surprised me, but it was just it was just a bit off. You get what I'm saying? The setup wasn't good enough. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think they could have done a better job of setting that up for us not to know that it's coming, but to enjoy the surprise a bit more. You get what I'm saying? If you guys understand what I'm saying, I think they could have taken a little bit more time um, to flesh out that betrayal. Um, but I understand the seasons are short. So, you know, but still, this is definitely still a 9.5 out of 10 episode easily. Um because, you know, Grace is back. And if Grace is back, we know good things can happen. But, um, I mean, you know, I can't stop talking about it. They're, they're are, they are the epitome of what you want out of two characters who are in love in a TV show. Their chemistry on screen, you cannot deny it. You see it. You understand it. You feel it. Right? So, nobody can contest their relationship, like you know they're in love with each other, no matter if you hate the characters or you love the characters, you just see that, you understand that, right? So, I definitely, definitely, going forward, you know, I want to see how this develops because, I, I mean, Tommy's such a G, bro, I, I didn't even expect him to tell miss carton about it like i didn't expect him to tell tell but he loves grace so much bro that he's like yo i have to come clean about this because i have to let her know like listen we might not be able to have a future because there's this woman that i can't stop thinking about man and that's what i'm talking about right there like much respect for them to to write that into it you get what I'm saying? Like, that was well written. Even the scene between the two of them was very well written. She coming to the terms that, okay, so she's she's leaving. You get what I'm saying? Like, so she doesn't understand. So from how that scene ended, I'm thinking she's like, yo, she's gone. I'm still here. You get what I'm saying? And I respect that about her. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she's, she, she basically looked at him and be like, listen. That was very gentleman of you to tell me that, which is very true. But I need you to be a gangster right now. You know what I'm saying? I need you to go back to being a gangster. You know what I mean? So, so much respect to Miss Carlton for that, man. Um, I don't know what Grace is doing. I really want her to go divorce that goody two shoe guy <laughs> and come over to the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. Sometimes you get the good thing and it's not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it is. You know what time it is. I think Tommy can't have kids also. Um, so they will be perfect for each other in that retrospect. But it looks like she wants kids though, but can't have kids. And Tommy, I, mean, I don't know if he wants kids and can't have. I don't know what that situation is like, but I do remember him when he was talking to um, when he was trying to get his shit in order because he thought he was going to die, you know, you know, he, he, you know, he mentioned something about him not having kids. Um, so he's, you know, signed this so they can inherit everything. So I definitely understand where he's coming from. But you guys already know, man, I'm enjoying this series very much. So, um, and he's killing it. Tom Hardy as Solomon's, he's killing it. Every scene he's in, he steals the scene. So, and I already know that he's a great act actor. He did a very good job on Venom. Um, even though I didn't like the overall movie, um, he did a very good job of acting in that movie. So, I definitely dig him in this role also. Um, so, man, Major Campbell is jealous. Um... <sighs> this series is very good, guys. It's a very good series. I wish more people 
would come on the channel and enjoy this with me but hey I'm happy I'm I'm appreciative of you know that's anybody is even watching this with me um, and it was a suggestion from one of my live streams and stuff like that and I just decided to try it and now I'm loving it you guys have yet to steered me wrong with your suggestions so hey I'm here I'm out here I'm trying so Remember to subscribe. This is the first time you're watching me, man. Remember to subscribe. Tell your friends that I'm watching Peaky Blinders full reactions over here. And also, leave a like on the channel, man, on this video. And also, leave a comment in the comment section, guys. Let's blow this thing up. Let people know that I'm over here doing full reactions. Um, they're not on YouTube, but hey, you still get to watch them, right? Um, so, let them know. We out here, Terror Squad. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and peace.